Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. Uh, this is the part two. In part one, you know, already discussed question number one on the electromagnetic theory of CC11 paper for the semester five of Calcutta University. This uh, is the question which asked in the 2021. In this part, we want to discuss question number two, three, and four. So if you want to watch the previous lectures, previous year solution, you can go through the description box. Link are given there. So let's start today's discussion. This is the total question paper. Uh, this is question number one, which is already discussed in part one. And this question number two, three, and four will be discussed in this part. And the upcoming session, upcoming part will be discussed question number five, six, and seven. Okay. I request all of you, you try to solve this question in your basis. After that, continue the video to watch the solution. Let's start. This question says so that the electric field capital E vector, magnetic field capital B vector and propagation unit vector n cap are related by this relation that is the C B vector equal to n cap cross E vector. How do this field vary with the distance from, uh, from long away from the source? If we consider the electric field and magnetic field as such form that is E vector equals to like that and V vector equal to like that. From the Maxwell equation, this electric uh, curl of E equal to minus del V del T. If you just put this uh, electric field vector and magnetic field vector, you uh, easily obtain this relation, this type of relation, which gives you the uh, this proof. You can see very easy, just uh, taking this grad, grad means the derivative with respect to space. So that's why you will obtain J K vector. Okay, so these things is here. And if you derivative with respect to t, you will be get minus j omega. So this minus minus plus and this gives you the k n cap cross e is omega b vector. Okay. So this uh, omega by k b vector equal to this one and you know this omega by k equals to c or you can uh, put here this k equal to omega by c, you will be obtained this relation very easily. Right. Now if you <coughs> want to know about the you know the fields uh, with the distance you can see there is a field is invariant or the, on the distance uh, here the intensity intensity will be reduced at 1 by r square but the field is uh, will be the same at a distance right next question suppose there are two set of vector uh, and scalar potential this a vector and a prime vector are the vector potential and the phi and phi prime are the scalar potential by how much the two potential differ so that electric field E and magnetic field B is invariant justify your answer what is the importance of the Lorentz case so you need to find out this difference in this potential <coughs> when the electric field and magnetic field are even invariant we know from the Maxwell relation divergence B equals to 0 which implies B must be curl of any vector because divergence of curl of any vector is 0. So curl of uh, again we know can see because curl of E is 0 so curl of E plus del A del T is equals to 0 we already obtained actually in the gauge transformation. So this gives you this relation. So E vector equals to like that and B vector equals to curl of A. So e vector, these two vectors are related with these two potential. Now this E vector, B vector are these remain invariant. So curl of A equals to curl of A prime. So A vector can be written as uh, A, A prime can be written as A vector plus this one. So uh, we can just change this index that is the a prime equals to a vector plus curl of this one so here the psi is the scalar function so the vector potential different by grad psi and the scalar potential differed by this del psi del t this is the answer now if you choose this uh, divergence a mu del phi del t equals to zero this is actually Lorentz gauge and this implies this is the uh, wave equation so gauge function psi satisfy the wave equation this uh, actually decouple this a vector that is the vector potential and the scalar potential right next <coughs> question says if the vector potential 
satisfy coulomb gauge coulomb gauge is divergence equals to 0 so what will be the value of beta so if we just take this divergence of this vector a vector equals to 0 we will be easily find out beta equals to 1 next question consider two electromagnetic wave corresponding uh, propa uh, propagating in vacuum with the electric field vector these two are electric field vector which are propagated in the vacuum evaluate the magnetic field corresponding to the superposition of these two waves so if you superpose these two wave vectorically added you will be get this relation and here we have propagate along z direction that is k cap so the corresponding magnetic field b vector equal to 1 by c k cross e so this gives you this type of relation okay <coughs> sorry i think clear next is uh, calculate the time average of energy density so energy density electrical energy density electric energy density is half real part of this half e dot d d is the displacement vector e is the electric field d is nothing but epsilon e so uh, in free space this will be epsilon not e so this gives you this relation and the time uh, average magnetic uh, energy density ma ma magnetic energy density will be like that uh, will be obtained this one okay i think you know about this one so the total energy density will be sum of these two things it will be this total energy density now you need to find out calculate the uh, pointing vector so pointing vector 1 by mu naught e cross b you know about e and b just cross border you will be obtained this equation after that check this uh, uh, whether this is satisfied or not uh, i just uh, try to this derivative but uh, these two are not satisfied at this moment uh, if this is satisfied uh, if any one can do this you just comment in the comment box next question starting from maxwell equation so that any initial charge density is conductor dissipated in a characteristic time so from maxwell equation we can start with this maxwell equation divergence e equals to rho by epsilon from the continuity equation uh, uh, divergence j equals to minus del rho del t j is the current density rho is the charge density and j equal to sigma e and this is del rho del t uh, this can be written as sigma divergence e equal to this divergence e equals to rho by epsilon so you will be obtained this del rho by rho equal to this so just integrating we will be obtained this equation and then you will be easily obtained so this is exponentially decaying and this will be actually saying the question next next question says a beam of light frequency is omega reflected from a dielectric metal interface at a normal incidence the refractive index of the dielectric medium n1 is n and the metal is n2 equals to n1 plus i rho the beam is polarized parallel to interface calculate the phase change from Fresnel's law the amplitude of the reflection coefficient will be like that n1 minus n2 by n1 plus n2 when the incident is normal normal this is the normal incident for normal incident reflection coefficient will be like that <coughs> here n1 equals to n n2 equals to this one so if you put this value you can easily find out r12 that is reflection coefficient will be like that uh, if you just decomp uh, decomp uh, define so they separate out the real part and the complex part you can easily find out the phase change that is the uh, that is the y by x y means uh, complex part and x means real part so just dividing you will be obtained this thing that tan inverse 2 by rho okay this is the phase angle phase change next question next question says derive the expression for skin depth uh, in a conductor an electromagnetic uh, cell to room is designed so that at the frequency omega equal to 10 to the 7 radian per second the intensity of the external radiation that uh, penetrate the room one portion of the incident radiation if sigma is given here the conductivity of the sharing material calculate the minimum thickness so at first you need to derive the skin depth after that you do this mathematics so from a maxwell relation a maxwell relation in electronic theory that is divergence e equals to zero divergence is equal to zero curl of e equal to minus mu del h del t curl of h equals to sigma e plus epsilon del e del t 
if you taking the call of equation number three and use equation number four if you taking this call you uh, ident uh, use the uh, vector identity that is the call of call of any vector is uh, grad of divergence of that vector minus grad square that vector okay so just use this vector identity here and the right hand side will be like and if you put this call of h is this you will be obtained this relation and similarly in magnetic field you will be obtained this relation if you take the electric field in this format such a format trial solution if you take and if you substitute these things uh, you know if you derivative with respect to space you will be obtained jk so double derivative means minus jk whole square that's why minus k square yeah single derivative with respect to time if you derivative with respect to time you will be get minus j omega that's why this minus is in positive j omega and minus j omega whole square this gives you omega square minus omega square and this minus gives you positive so finally you will be get k square equal to like that and if you take this k is real and imaginary part and k square will in this one so if you compare this uh, k square and uh, that one you will be obtain this relation okay that is the relation so this alpha square plus beta square is and the alpha square beta square uh, we, uh, alpha square minus beta square uh, this is alpha square plus beta square and this is alpha square minus beta square if you dis added these two things you will be obtained value of alpha and if you subtract this thing you will be obtained value of beta and for good conductor this conductivity is very high so this can be taken as very much greater than to one if you can very much greater than to one if you simplify this one you will be get obtained alpha is beta like that and the skin depth is nothing but one by beta so this is the formula of the skin depth now the next part of this question says an electromagnetic sealed room is designed so that the frequency of external radiation penetrated from this room is one percent of the incident radiation if sigma is like that with the minimum thickness so skin depth we just obtain this formula that is two turn two values if you put this value of omega sigma and the mu which is 4 pi 10 to the power minus 7 you will be obtained 10 to the power minus 3 uh, skin depth distance so this is meter and now that intensity is varies with the distance like that and this uh, just uh, i 0 by i equal to like that logarithmic taking logarithm in both side will be obtained this expression jd equal to delta by 2 ln i 0 by i the delta is obtained already here 10 to the power minus 3 i 0 by i is 100 because i is 1 by i 0 by 100 so this gives you 100 so 100 means 10 square so this is to cancel out 10 to the minus 3 ln 10 ln 3 is 2.3 so this gives you 2.3 to the minus 3 meter this is the minimum thickness required to that one i think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box this is all about me and this is my contact detail you can connect with this telegram channel and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel we get different related videos on mathematics like this session if you learn something for this session share this video to your friends either he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you are new channel those already subscribe thanks for subscribing press the bell icon to get notification of our video so take care we'll meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you